Dear TJ Thinker, welcome in this daily video until the Christmas day. And today I want to show to you how I helped a user to make this model. This is a weapon. And today we will be focused on this part. It's a very interesting part because it's a cut on circular array and on the curved surface. Let's go. We will hide this model and display again the original object. Press F and click on Cut. Right click on this face to display the grid. Use the rectangle and click on the center. Hold Ctrl and Shift to draw a square from the center. Like this and like this. Now, first bevel. X to deselect everything and place your cursor on this one and press X, this one press X and move to make these results. The next step is to add a circular array and move your cursor like this. Rotate, rotate the object with B and move with JX. Okay. The object isn't on the right direction. I will press tab. I press tab to enter in edit mode. I select everything with A, R, X, Y, Y, 45 for the rotation. Enter. Back to object mode and see your result. I will increase the number of the repetition. With the circular array, I press on C and change the number to eight. Okay, eight. Now, in the reference, the object is longer. I back again in edit mode. I select everything, press S, X, and increase like this. I back in object mode, and I have this result. I need to readjust the first bevel. Go to the first bevel, select this one with X and this one, and increase to back to this result. Like this. Okay. Nice. I exit fluent, it's okay for the cut. And as you can see, I have a lot of artifact. And it's completely normal in Blender. You make a cut on a curved surface. But with fluent, you can fix this problem. You will press F and use normal repair. Click on it. The first step of the tool is to merge close vertices. If you move your cursor, you can see you will merge vertices. To uh, This step is very interesting to avoid some overlapping effects. Left click to validate. Now, the second step is to select the normal source, the object with the good normal on this face. In my case, this is this object. And now I will just select uh, with C for me. I like to use the C um, tool to uh, the, uh, the circle tool to select faces. Uh, I select all faces uh, that I want to repair. I select this one, everything like this. Okay, it's okay. I want to to repair the inner face, I select that, that, that. Okay, I continue to select everything. Select, select, this, select. Okay. Um, when the selection is finished, just press Enter to repair everything and right click to exit Fluent. And ta-da, you have this result, it's perfect. No artifact, uh, the result is very, very good. This is a very interesting case, so I hope you like this example and the workflow will help you in your own project. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you don't want to miss the next episode. And for me, it's okay. See you tomorrow, bye. Digital. Bye bye, grow together.